Aloha and welcome to HawaiiOnTV.com Networks. I'm your host, Ken Martinez Bergmeyer, and we're here at the beautiful Ritz Carlton in Kapolua here on Maui for the 25th annual Celebration of the Arts. It's an incredible Hawaiian cultural experience that we're going to give you an inside track to on HawaiiOnTV.com. <laughs> This weekend is the 25th annual celebration of the Arts Show. It goes on, uh, it's been going on, uh, well, 25 years now at the Rich Carlton. We just bring in all the practitioners from around the state, and they they get to show what they, you know, what they're good at in, in terms of you know the cultural arts, especially. All the activities of the world, you know, uh, what, what I like to refer to as the mundane. We gotta kind of like put that aside, go from the mundane into the cultural and the spiritual so we can do this work. Now this is especially important now at the Celebration of the Arts because we are here to educate, we are here to become, we are here to, to, to tell our story in our many different ways. And uh, in order to do that, we need to be almost totally out of our mundane into our cultural, spiritual realm. And this whole ceremony this morning, the Hiuvai going in the ocean and releasing the negative, and preparing ourselves and uh, letting that, all that unnecessary things just float away. It's, it's where we go into the ocean and you spend time by yourself, separated from everybody as much as you can, and you reflect. You reflect on your life, you reflect on the events that are happening in your life, but at the same time, you call your kupuna, your ancestors, and your, your creator to come with you and make sense of stuff. And then, they leave you of all that burden. So that when you come out of the water, and then you go into the event with an unfiltered mind. dream about what I want to learn about and then I create these topics and invite the people to come in and talk about it. The unfortunate part is I'm so busy I never get to attend the event but the main thing is that the topics are discussed between everybody in a safe haven and um, philosophies are expressed and everybody walks away asking more questions which means that you know there's progress ahead. It's always about moving forward. It's not where you begin, it's where you end. So we're, we're still going, we're still learning. It never ceases to amaze me how many people want to come in and say, I can help, I want to contribute. And that's the celebration of it all, is that everybody comes together in one unified group, whether you be a visitor or a practitioner, it makes no difference. Once you reach here, you're good. here today uh, conducting a workshop on how to process and how to um, turn native Hawaiian uh, uh, fibers into strong kaula, which is uh, the rope that we have here on display today. Uh, today we'll be demonstrating on how to use the, the hull fibers. These hull fibers are about 15 to 20 feet long. So they, they really make for good, long, um, strong pieces of rope. Celebration of the Arts, I think, is a fantastic opportunity to come together and to share kinships with other people who have got a heart for the culture and the continued preservation of the culture. Oh, my God. 
the culture, teach everybody what we, what we do so they can learn what we, how we live, you know. So it's a, it's a good event here. It helps everybody. I live on Molokai. I hand carve uh, opi shells, oyster shells, bones. I appreciate Clifford Festival of the Arts, Rich Carlton. This is an ukulele I made a few months ago and it's out of curly koa. It's matching front, sides, back, and the neck. Uh, took about four months to make. I do feather art, which is hulu. Uh, hulu means feather. And I try to keep the traditional um, ways of how we make lace from way back when. So I have a couple different styles here. I have poi poi, kamoi, lokilani, and then I also have humu papa, which is a hat band that goes on my hat. I do lauhala weaving. I make hats and mats and all kinds of stuff. I've been doing it for about 23 years now. I learned from some of the elders and they taught me all kinds of styles of weaving. This evening, 
They're having their great Taste of the Island Luau with some exciting and amazing, incredible food that you guys should come and check out. And you'll see it coming up here on HawaiiOnTV.com Networks. Understanding when someone is trying to enlighten you and knowing when the time it is for you to enlighten somebody else and taking pride in that. And at the end of the day, say to yourself, what kind of ancestor will I be?